I've always been fascinated by the power of words. As a calligrapher, I was frustrated in my practice to kind of see the words static. They were symbolic, powerful images and I wanted them to come alive. And the question was how? And then the idea of the animation came about. This seemed to be a good solution for me. I could write each of the frames by hand and then tell a story at the same time. And I was able to give emotion to the piece through collaborating with the renowned British Indian composer Nitin Sawney. But I wanted to take it one step further. What happens if a dancer embodies and responds to the theme I was writing? So in this case, Huria, freedom, something that is so emotive and important to all of us. And Huria came alive through the dance with Salah and Brugi. fantastic about Salaf was that he's from Egypt and you could really feel the sense of freedom in his moves. And he was very kind of ecstatic and powerful. One of the great things that I've taken away from exhibiting Korea at Leighton House Museum in London is that it is possible to translate words into movement. Majority of the audience, but they've been so moved by it, which is proof to me that this, this experimental piece, which is essentially what Korea is, is worth taking to other audience and, and to gauge responses from around the world.